Hello everyone, welcome back to Damn Tasty Vegan. It's your friend, Maria Rose. And today, um, we're gonna make some freaking potato salad because it's one of my favorite things to eat in the summertime. And it's so easy to make vegan. And I always get bummed out when I go to like barbecues or parties and the potato salad's not vegan. I'm like, oh man, I wish I could eat this. And it's so easy to make vegan. So this is really a selfish video so that if you ever invite me over to your house for a veggie barbecue, then you'll make me potato salad. <laughs> no, but for real, this is a really great dish to make and bring to a party to share with your friends. This tastes amazing when you let it sit in the fridge. Make this ahead of time before your party, before your event, and it'll taste 100 times better, if that's even possible, but it, it, it'll taste better. <laughs> so if this video helped you out in any way, I would really appreciate if you interacted with me. I love creating a community of people who love vegan food, who love animals, who want to help the planet. All right, so let's hang out for a little bit and I will teach you how to make this amazing, delicious vegan potato salad. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, so we're not messing around here. I like to use my pressure cooker to cook the potatoes. My pressure cooker did not come with one of those steaming baskets, so I just bought one from the grocery store. It was like three bucks, it works awesome. So I like to pre-chop my potatoes so that when they're done cooking, they are a little bit more soft and tender, and the more you like mess with them at that time, the more they're apt to like fall apart. So I like to, to chop them beforehand. And I have uh, the full directions on the blog. With, if you don't have a pressure cooker, I show you how to boil the potatoes. All right, so you wanna cook your potatoes and let them cool completely. And I like to do that step the day before so that they have a whole day in the fridge to completely cool. All right, now take your extra firm tofu and make sure it's drained and just press slightly. You can even like press it with your hands if you don't have a tofu press. This is kind of replacing like the egg in um, a potato salad. So we're going to just dust this with a little bit of black salt. Now this is optional. If you don't have black salt on hand, it'll work completely fine. But if you want to make this like a little more fun and make, make it taste like a traditional potato salad, then the black salt, I'll link um, some below that's only like three or four bucks so that is what gives the tofu a little eggy flavor so then we're gonna add our cooled potatoes in with the tofu and we're gonna add our onions and celery and then some garlic powder and onion powder and again all the measurements will be linked below um, to my blog post too, if you want to check that out and then we add our mustard and our vegan mayonnaise and a couple tablespoons of uh, dill relish. I like my potato salad um, savory instead of sweet, but if you wanna use sweet relish, then go for it. I'm not gonna stop ya. <laughs> and then to top all this off, I like to top it with a little more dill. If you have fresh dill, it tastes amazing in this, but that's all I had on hand and it worked. So this potato salad tastes really well when it's been sitting in the fridge for a day. So make this ahead of time, like a day ahead and let it sit in the fridge and kind of hang out and just merge all the flavors together. Oh, you wanted to make sure you top this. You've got to top it with paprika. So <laughs> it has a really nice color as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed hanging out with you all and making this. Leave me any questions below and let me know how this turned out for you. I love, love hearing from you all. So please leave me a comment below and I will see you all very soon in the next video.